G'day and welcome to another one of my Minecraft Shader videos. Uh, today I just wanted to go over a few topics. Uh, one of them, you'll probably notice that you can see the fraps counter up in the corner. Uh, I'm no longer using fraps to record any of my videos. Uh, that's because Nvidia has now released their 337.50 beta drivers. And with that, you also need to update your Nvidia experience program, which enables Shadowplay. Now, Shadowplay used to only record uh, DirectX 9 games in full screen. But now you can record anything that you want. Uh, desktop, Minecraft, as you can see. And with virtually like no frame rate loss at all. Uh, just to show that, as you can see, I'm just standing right here. I took a picture just before this video. We'll just minimize this. As you can see, it was running at about 90 frames per second in the exact same spot, same time, and everything. And as you can see, there's like virtually like no frame rate loss whatsoever. So if you haven't downloaded these new drivers yet, I highly recommend you go get them now. Brilliant. Um, now the other thing I wanted to discuss is that Sonic either just did a live feed on Twitch, I think it was, discussing these new shaders. Now this one here is his uh, preview 2. Uh, this has not been modified at all. This is how you would get it when you download it with the 2D clouds. Now he mentioned in his live stream video that he did the reason why he went with the 2D ones instead of the 3D volumetric clouds which is that the 3D volumetric clouds took too much of a performance hit and that's why he decided to go with these ones. Now I wanted to discuss this because I've actually been looking into it and I've been able to optimize his volumetric clouds so that there's like virtually no performance hit whatsoever. Now if you actually go into it and enable the clouds this is what you'll get. This is how he left it in the code of preview 2. And as you can see, the performance drops down quite a lot from about 90 down to about 70. Which is, well, about 20 frames. Which, given that, you can sort of go, well, yeah, okay. I can see why he went with the 2D clouds. Um, so I went through and started looking at it and tried to change it because I thought these looked quite awful. And I ended up getting them looking like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, these looked a lot better and I'll put a link in the description for a, a section on his uh, website where you can go in and actually edit uh, Preview 2. They've got a lot of tweaks that you can do on it. Uh, as you can see though the frame rate is still pretty terrible. Um, so what I've been actually able to come up with is this. And these are still his volumetric clouds. But as you can see, once it finishes loading, you're, you're only losing, what, about 10 frames maximum I've found. Some areas it's like as low as about three or four frames that you end up losing. So right now you're only losing what about eight frames from his original. So we'll quickly go back to his original. And as you can see his original is huh, it's actually running less than with the volumetric clouds believe it or not. Alright, so we're going up a little bit now. But as you can see, 
there isn't a huge amount of frame rate loss from that to these ones. Now it all comes down to personal choice. Me personally, I prefer the volumetric clouds. I just reckon they look a lot nicer than the 2D ones. Um, but as you can see, there isn't a huge amount of frame rate loss. Like the most I've seen in any area is about 10 frames max. Most of the time you're only losing about 5, five frames to 7 frames. And just to prove that they are the volumetric ones, because you know with the 2D ones you can't actually reach them. But we'll head straight up. I've still noticed there's still a bit of pixelation, but it's only where the sun's actually hitting the edges of the cloud. But as you can see, there you go. Full volumetric 3D clouds with virtually no frame rate hit, which is absolutely crazy. Now, if you've been following my uh, YouTube videos, you'll know that I'm mainly working with his O1 shader, uh, which is this one here. I still reckon that this is probably one of the best shaders that he's provided. Mainly because of the clouds. The clouds look a lot better than the other ones. And the performance hit isn't too bad. But you got to remember with this, I've also got uh, Parallax Occlusional Mapping enabled. Is Parallax Water plus the volumetric clouds, which is why it's not hovering up around 80 frames. But with everything enabled, you know, you're only losing about what 18 frames, which isn't too bad in my opinion. The best one, though, in my opinion, for the volumetric clouds was his. VC5, which is this one here. This one had the best looking clouds out of them all. But as you can see, there was that problem with the blurring of the clouds with the blocks. Now, I am going to add a description. Or add, sorry, add a link in the description to download a text file which will have the changes that I made so you can get the volumetric clouds looking like this. Uh, there is one thing though, is that when it rains, it doesn't bunch up 100% yet. I'm still working on that. Now, as you know, I'm using Chroma Hills Texture Pack with my own custom specular mapping. If we go back to his original cloud, these ones bunch up real nice when it rains. But as I said before, there's a pretty big performance hit with these ones. Now this is actually my modified uh, preview 2, the one that I use. I've actually disabled the uh, dimming of the sun when it goes behind clouds, as best as I could anyway. Uh, I just want to point out now that I'm not going to be making any more videos 
to do with modifying uh, the shaders at the moment just because he's announced that uh, 10.1 will be releasing soon which will make preview 2 obsolete uh, now like I said before I'll be putting a link in the description on where to go so you can actually make the tweaks yourself to preview 2 But yeah, I would like if Sonic Easy could have a look at what I've changed and perhaps you know rethink about keeping the 3D volumetric clouds in. Because like I said, there's like very little performance hit with the way I've got them now. Also, if you look around on Sonic Easy's forums on his actual proper website uh, someone's actually managed to put in lens flare so a huge shout out to that bloke now I've actually tweaked it a bit myself <laughs> so yeah if you wanted lens flare there you go there is a way to get it back into Sonic Ether's shaders Although the sun, you know, then becomes visible through clouds. And it does work with most of Sonic Ether's shaders. Just to show you, I've actually got VC5 with it working in there as well. And VC5 is virtually just 10.0, just with clouds. So yeah, if you can leave a comment down below as to what you believe it looks better. Whether that's the volumetric clouds I've got here. Or perhaps you prefer the 2D clouds that he's got. It all comes down to personal, personal choice. For me, you know, I prefer these. Uh, it's the same as how I don't like his atmospheric fog, which is that blue tint that you get with objects off in the distance. But it is getting better. He just needs to perhaps push it a bit further back and decrease the intensity of it so it's not as noticeable now once uh, 10.1 does finally come out I was thinking of actually doing some side-by-side -side comparisons of not only that shader but this one and the ones that I've been modifying to see what everyone prefers. So yeah, if you like my videos just rate and subscribe and I'll catch you all next time. Bye bye.